my lovely crochet fans. Okay, so today we are going to be making one of the Among Us hats. Um, it's going to be the cowboy hat. Um, and so I have made myself this very cute uh, Among Us with the color of yarn that I really, really liked. Um, I'll put a link in, in the description for the yarn if you want to make your own or use this yarn for something else. But I wanted to make um, hats for my little Among Us uh, crewmate. And the first one I'm going to make is going to be the cowboy hat. Now, for this project, I would suggest using the exact same kind of yarn that you use for your Among Us Dow. So if you use Red Heart for your Among Us Dow, then I would suggest using Red Heart to make the hat. Uh, of course, in the color it's supposed to be in, but still the same thickness of yarn that you use for your Among Us crewmate, you should use to make the hat. So I'm using a 3.5 size E hook and I am going to be using um, this is a cotton brown I think it's sheep jeets but then I'm not really sure I can't remember but I know it's cotton and it's thin so it's the same uh, it's the same thickness as the yarn I used for my crewmate you're also going to need yarn needle and scissors um, no stuffing for this since it's just the cowboy hat. So for the cowboy hat, we're going to get started with making our slip knot, and we're going to chain two, so one and two. And we're going to put eight single crochet in this second chain. So one, this is two. This is three, this is four, five, six, seven. And eight. Okay. And now that we have eight, we're going to put two single crochet in each stitch to make 16. So I'm just going to count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I would start right here. There we go. And that's one and two. And we have three and four. And right here is five and six. This is seven and eight. And then we have nine and ten. And this is eleven. And twelve, then we have thirteen and fourteen, and then the last one, fifteen and sixteen. Okay. So now that we have 16, now we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, this is thirteen, Fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, so now that we have done round three, which was one single crochet in each stitch, now I'm going to go ahead and do round four. Round four is one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in a stitch after that. So one and two. Then again, it's one single crochet and then two. And then you just repeat that. Okay, so now that we've done round four, we're going to move on to round five to eleven, which is just one single crochet in each stitch. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and when I get back, I will show you what we need to do next. Okay, so now that I am done with round five to eleven, you should have something that looks like this. This looks like a small, tiny little bowl. So, for round 12, you're just going to go ahead and single crochet in each stitch, but you're only going to do it in these back loops. So you have two little loops here, and you're just going to go through the back ones. And you're just going to single crochet all the way around in those back loops. <laughs> Okay, and now that we are finished with round 12, we're going to move on to round 13. Round 13, we're going to put two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so now that I am done with round 13, which was two single crochet in each stitch, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to round 14. Round 14 is one single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. And then two single crochet in that in the next stitch. One, and two. And now you're just going to repeat all the way to the end. So after round 14, this is what you should have. It should look something like this. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to round 15. Round 15 is one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, and four. And then two single crochet in the next stitch. So one and two in that same stitch. And then you're gonna repeat this all the way to the end. Okay, so now we're done with round 15 and this is what you should have. It should look something like this. It kind of looks like um, a sun hat actually, a tiny little sun hat. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pull out a lot of yarn just because you're going to be using it. You're going to cut off, you're going to cut off very long long piece of yarn and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish this off you're gonna tie this off by just pulling the yarn through the loop to tie it off so it doesn't come loose take that out okay so now this is where we're going to need our yarn needle and what we're going to do with our yarn. You're going to thread our yarn needle and before we get started, thread it, lay it down. Now right here in this middle you're going to take, you're going to push down in the middle to make it look like a cowboy hat. So you want to push down in the middle just like that. So it should be like this. And then you want to take the two sides and fold them together like this. Okay, so the yarn needle, we're going to take it. We're going to sew all of this together. But you want to sew down at the bottom. So you want to sew lower because you don't want to sew this part together. Because we still need to slip stitch. First, because this is here, we want to thread. We don't want this to pull down. So I'm going to kind of thread through this. I'm going to kind of put the needle through this and get it in the right position that I need it in. Kind of like this. Oh no. Okay, there we go. There we go. So there, that is like that. Then we wanna, you wanna kinda just sew this around until you get to the right spot that you need it. It's probably about right there. Okay. There we go. There, so that's the right spot. Now I'm just gonna Go ahead and push that part back in because it's supposed to look like this. So we push that part back in, and again, I'm gonna go like right. Actually, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go in like that. There we go just because I don't want it to tug on any part of the hat. Uh-oh. No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't get tangled. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. Okay. So now we have that in. Then you're going to take, and you're going to go straight, because there's a hole and we're going to straight through the middle and then probably straight through there go 
kind of kind of just want to hold it like a um a taco really there we go and then I'm gonna go back through it just to make sure uh -uh. it is secured there we go And so you can see how it looks like a cute little cowboy hat. There you go. And now we're gonna we're going to um, take our needle and push it straight back up to where we left off. So it came out here. So now we're gonna weave it in and out, like maybe right up here right through this stitch here to get it back there we go that way it's not tugging on anything now we can go back to our um, crochet hook and what we want to do is we just want to pull it through and we just want to oh, not chain I want to slip stitch so let me just go into the next one and slip stitch and we want to go all the way around with our slip stitch You're all finished with your um cowboy hat. See? There it is. And now um you would finish off and then with the rest of this leftover yarn that you have, you would go ahead and sew this on to your crewmate. I am not going to sew this on to my crewmate because I want to put different hats on. So just be sitting on the top of the head like that. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial for the crewmate, the Among Us crewmate hats. And um, this is Pink Olay, and I'll see you next time in another video.